Hi everyone, thank you for painting with me today. So we are painting horses one and horses two. In this particular video, I am painting horse number one. I have sped this video up a lot, so you might not want to try and follow along with me, but obviously you can pause the video and watch it as many times as you like in order to be able to follow along. So we're going to go ahead and start and mix in equal parts of the yellow and the white together. I used way too much paint here. You do not need this amount. Um, but you're going to use the biggest brush that you have. So about the three quarter inch and making sure that you're going in horizontal strokes. You're going to mix that white and yellow together and then add more yellow into the top to make it um, like an ombre effect. The clouds are going to cover this, so you don't need to be too particular, but you do want a nice gradient going in. So adding some red into that, we are going to start with the same brush, blending the red into the middle of um, the sky. Now, I didn't wash my brush you want it to kind of mix together anyway and that's what's going to make it obviously more of an orangey color and making sure that you're going side to side horizontal in the way that the clouds are going to go later it's just going to give that more realistic view of the sky rather than um, up and down vertically next we're going to add the bright blue and so two parts bright blue one part white mix that well in and then we're going to fill the top third of the sky with that color. Again, I didn't um, clean my brush at this point. You certainly can do. But as we want those colors to merge, I didn't bother. I'm then going to go back in with some red and kind of make sure that that's blended together. So you can go back over this until you're happy with it. I'm just going through and adding more colors until I like the, um, the shades and the colors that I've got. I am now starting to wash my brush, but I'm making sure that all my paint strokes are horizontal and that I've got it near enough the way I want it. We are gonna go over with some cloud, so it doesn't need to still be perfect at this point, but you do want a good base to work off of. So we're now going to take our cobalt blue and some white. I made it quite light. I did go over afterwards and add a little bit more of that blue in there. We want our furthest away mountains in the distance to be the lightest and then we're gradually going to get darker. So you can actually just use the same blue and add more uh, white to it, more um, blue to it the further down we go. But I am making sure that the very top on the horizon is darker and then gradually mixing in some white and blurring it all together to try and make it seamless. So you'll also notice I am painting over the horse a little bit. You can still see it through um, the paint because it's quite a light colour, but you do want to be aware of where that horse is. You don't want to completely cover it because then you're going to be painting your own horse. So I'm going to take that blue again, still the cobalt blue, and still mixed with a little bit of white, but it is more blue in the mixture this time. We're going to do the outline of the edges, so that crisp mountain hilltop, and then gradually add more white in the further down we go so that it kind of gradients down again. I'm gradually working my way down, adding more blue, more white as I see fit. And before we go much further, I'm just going to double, triple check that I'm happy with the shading, um, the colours that I've chosen. Um, because once you start doing on the, the horse in the, in the foreground, you, you don't want to be touching up the background. So just make sure you're happy with how things are, how things are in comparison to each other. Make sure that one's not too light, one's not too dark and then we can go on to the next step. So I have just realized that I have forgotten to explain that I went down a sizing brush. Um, so I'm now using the middle size brush for the heels, uh, whereas we were using the biggest one for the background. So I'm just gonna carry on with that blue, starting darker with more cobalt blue, 
and then gradually shading it out and adding more white paint in. Um, you'll notice that each hill, each mounting, um, as we come forward, is getting slightly darker. So the furthest mountain away will be your lightest. Then you've got the middle. The one in the front will be your darkest. So we're going to let the um, bottom dry now and we're going to start mixing some colours for the sky. So we're going to go back in and do the clouds. We're going to mix um, a little bit of red, same amount of yellow, and then a little bit of white to make a, a light orange colour. And then we're going to go in with quite strong brush strokes. Um, you want them short. You want to see the brush strokes. And this is just going to be the clouds. We want to do shorter ones, longer ones, and we're just going to do it in the bottom half. So on the on top of the orange and the yellow. We're going to add in some darker clouds now. So we're going to add the yellow and the red part together. Um, one part each and then that's just going to make the orange we're not going to add any white this time and we're going to go ahead and do the clouds in the very middle of where the blue orange and the yellow meet and we're going to put some nice redder clouds on there so now with the orangey clouds done we're going to mix the equal parts of the blue cobalt blue and the red to make some purple clouds for the very top um, and to give us some shadow on there. Whenever you are completely happy with the sky, you can go back to the bottom where the uh, horse is standing on the ground and continue that blue, making sure that it ombres into a white. Um, and then you want to make sure that you've put the details in, that you're getting some of the edges of the grass blades in. Uh, for the top hills, we made it quite smooth. We want to show um, a different um, contrast and we want these ones to have more texture. So the way I like to do it is like a flick of the wrist. So you're holding the paintbrush at the bottom and you gently flick your wrist and do a paint stroke very quickly and shortly up. So it's gonna give you a nice um, like pointed end so it looks more like grass and you can do this on the bottom too. So you can use your smallest brush for this part. We are going to use plain black to fill in all of the silhouette of the horse and the bottom of the grass. So whenever you're filling in the black, just make sure you're taking your time. Um, you can certainly use a bigger paintbrush in the middle, um, but the small detail brush works fine as well. It's just obviously going to take you longer. You want to make sure that the edges, wherever you're painting the outline of the horse, that you're going smoothly. You're doing um, easy on, easy off with a paintbrush. You don't want too much paint on there. And remember that you can also go over the line many times. You don't have to make it perfect first time. If you want it thicker, you can always add more paint. But just get the basic outline. Don't worry too much about making it perfect the first time. So whenever I was getting to the very end of the silhouette of grass, I made sure to put some varying heights, varying paint strokes, just to give it a more realistic look. Um, again, using that smallest brush you have, you can start at the bottom and flick paint up gently and then lift the paintbrush off. That's going to give you, like again, a realistic flick. So I did leave the horse's head to the very last. Um, in my opinion, I think that is the hardest part. It's definitely something that you want to take your time and make sure that you're getting right. I then went over the whole thing and just made sure that 
I had like horse's hair in there, some texture, um, that the lines weren't too smooth, um, and just made sure that I was completely happy with how everything was looking um, before I was done. So if you're doing horse number two, then you want to follow along what we've just done, but your horse is obviously going to be pointing in the other directions, but the um, steps are exactly the same. Thank you so much for painting along with me. Um, I hope that you've really enjoyed this and have learned something. Um, yeah, thank you so much.